So I received this just over three weeks ago and this unboxing was done on the day I received it. And today I'll be sharing a very quick unboxing, setup, demo, Wi-Fi speed test around the house on my iPhone 11 Pro Max, Poco F2 Pro, OnePlus 7 Pro and a wired speed test on the Lenovo Legion gaming laptop and I'll be sharing a comparison of the Wi-Fi 6 Plus speeds to the speeds when connected to my standard Plusnet Wi-Fi 5 network. Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Leah and you're watching Glamour Gadgets and Gaming by Leah. Guys, here I have the Honor Router 3 which features Wi-Fi 6 Plus. This is Honor's first router ever and what makes it special and what's made me want to feature it on the channel today is not only because it features Wi-Fi 6 Plus but also it is the world's cheapest Wi-Fi 6 router currently available. I have left the link for it in the description box below so do go and check them out. Guys, I'll quickly unbox it whilst you check out the specs on the screen in front of you. And guys, in the box we have a quick starter guide in English, an Ethernet cable, a charger, I have a European plug here and the Honor Router 3 which features Wi-Fi 6 Plus and guys, it's the XD20 model. The router comes in white only with a beautiful matte finish. We have the Honor branding here. Here on the top guys, very conveniently located, we have the WPS button which allows you to connect devices to the router by simply pressing it. We have four antennas here and at the back we have the charging port. For Ethernet or if you like fan and LAN ports. Here we have the reset hole. Guys, these antennas here must all be erected upright when using it to ensure optimised Wi-Fi signal. Now let's get it all set up. It's a very simple, quick plug and play process. Setting up this router is very easy guys. Simply connect your current router to the Honor 3 router via this Ethernet cable. Plug in one end to your current router and the other end to any one of these four Ethernet ports here at the back. Obviously plug in the power cable. Now open up the Huawei Live smartphone app. It will run you through a very easy setup guide. It's simple plug and play and a very easy automated process. Now you can rename the router if you like, add a Wi-Fi password, followed by an admin password, click on the Wi-Fi network backup, click on online, input the router password, click yes, and guys, you're all connected. You'll also see connection info, Wi-Fi quality, and all the channels in use. Guys, you can create a guest account if you like. Now, as for parental controls, I'm very impressed with this feature here. You can simply add a device. For example, I can add my little niece's personal iPhone 11 Pro Max. I can add a time between which she can and cannot connect to the internet. And the Wi-Fi connection on her iPhone will auto disconnect at the time I set for it to do so. I can put this feature on repeat on a daily basis. Now you can also manage any diagnostics here. We also have guest Wi-Fi. So here you can switch on guest access should you need to. And here guys, you can see all your other options for the router. And guys, here I have my Poco F2 Pro. I have connected it to my router. You can see the Wi-Fi network here and I'm connecting it to the Honor Wi-Fi 6 router. Now I'm going to run some Wi-Fi speed tests. I'll be taking these phones around various rooms in my house and demonstrate what sort of speed I receive. I currently have the Plusnet 60 megabytes per second fiber broadband package on which I receive a typical speed of 53 megabytes per second on a good day. So guys, let's check out this bad boy and see how powerful it really is. So the first test is on the ground floor, whilst literally beside both the routers, the Plusnet router and the Honor 3 router. As you can see, the upload and download speeds are very impressive. Probably the best I've received in this house since I've had the Plusnet network. So I have an impressive 53.1 download speed. Now the next test is on the first floor in my bedroom where I usually receive okay Wi-Fi connection and therefore I use this Wi-Fi mesh router to receive optimal connection. Now first checking the speeds on the Poco F2 Pro. Very impressive. 
Now still on the first floor and moving into my spare bedroom. Here I have the iPhone 11 Pro Max connected to the Wi-Fi 5 and the Poco F2 Pro Max connected to the Wi-Fi 6 Plus router. And check that guys, there is a noticeable difference on the download speeds between the Wi-Fi 5 and the Wi-Fi 6 Plus networks. Check this guys, 50.8 megabits per second download speed and 18.4 upload speed on the Poco F2 Pro 5G phone. 34.5 download and 16.7 upload speed on the iPhone 11 Pro Max which is connected to my standard Wi-Fi 5 router. You can also see that I have currently five devices connected and you can connect up to 128 devices ago. And now the final test on the second floor of the house, another spare slash guest room which is barely used and usually has poor internet connection and I'm going to test out the speed on the 11 Pro Max and the Poco F2 Pro in this room also. And in this room guys I receive very poor connection however as you can see, the Honor Router 3 is already showing that the connection in this room is excellent. So first on the Poco F2 Pro. Whoa, 49.3 download speed and a very decent 18.1 upload speed. Now moving on to the Apple iPhone 11 Pro Max. 32.9 megabits per second download speed and 17.4 upload speed so guys you can see for yourself the difference between the standard wi-fi network and the network connection on the honor router 3 which features wi-fi 6 plus Although the upload speed is almost the same, there's a very noticeable difference on the download speed. So I'm currently with PlusNet on the 60 megabytes per second fiber broadband package and I typically receive around 53 megabytes per second top speed. Guys, this is very impressive. Considering I barely get much connection in the room and I'm on the second floor away from the router, this is my top speed I have ever had in this room. Now finally testing the speed on the OnePlus 7 Pro which is on Wi-Fi 5. 38.3 download speed and 17.5 upload speed. Slightly higher than the iPhone 11 Pro Max but nowhere near my top speed on the Poco F2 Pro 5G smartphone which is connected to the Wi-Fi 6 Plus. Now before we get away and move away from all of this I'm going to connect my Lenovo Legion gaming laptop directly to the Honor 3 Wi-Fi 6 Plus router. So one end of this Ethernet cable goes into the Ethernet port of the laptop and the other end of it goes into any of the available three Ethernet ports at the back of the router. So as you can see I have turned off the Wi-Fi network and we are connected directly via the Ethernet so a wired connection. You can see that the internet connection is up and running straight away and now guys we're going to run a wired connection test. Wow that is pretty stable. We have a solid 53.40 download speed and an amazing 18.46 upload speed. So this is my top internet upload and download speeds I've had. And guys, as you noticed earlier, my smartphone was giving me close results to this as a wire test when connected to the Honor 3 Wi-Fi 6 Plus router. The Wi-Fi 6 Plus performance from this router is incredible. Although there's not much of a difference between the upload speed on the Wi-Fi 6 Plus and the standard Wi-Fi 5, the download speed is noticeably high on the Honor 3 Wi-Fi 6 Plus router. The future definitely looks bright for the Wi-Fi 6 and especially if it's going to be so easy to set up and priced at this very juicy price point. Like, are you even serious, Honor? I mean, it's a no-brainer. Don't get me wrong guys, I do have other Wi-Fi 6 routers I yet need to test, which are more powerful and cost a couple of hundred pounds more. Definitely intended for very heavy usage and for those of you who are big on gaming, streaming and have much more than 128 devices running at any one time. We'll come to those routers on the channel sometime soon. As for this one, it's perfect for me. 
I'm sure impressed with the great speed delivered by this Honor Router 3 Wi-Fi 6 Plus. I am now able to connect to my Wi-Fi devices without stressing about poor or no connection and hopefully I will no longer have to rely on mesh routers around the house. There's lots of security, power and goodness in this router and best of all, like most Honor devices, this is a quality device for an affordable price. So what are your thoughts on it guys? I mean, I only suggest you try this router out only if you have Wi-Fi 6 compatible devices and experience poor network connection or else the standard Wi-Fi routers typically do a great job. So guys do share your thoughts on this brand new offering from Honor in the comment box below. Are you tempted to buy one? What are you currently using? I look forward to reading your thoughts. So that's me done for now but before you go be sure to pop over to my Instagram page later today. I'll be sharing all the details and instructions on a brand new giveaway. So be sure to follow me there and that's me done for now. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and if you have, be sure to like, comment, share and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram to be notified of my upcoming videos, giveaways, etc. Until the next one guys, take care, stay safe, bye.